What's up guys, Sugar Z here and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Windows Embedded Post Ready 2009. Now this is actually a really special version of Windows XP. It's actually still supported up to this day. But it's mainly used for like ATM machines, like cash registers, self checkouts, etc, etc. But that's pretty much all Windows Embedded Post Ready 2009 is used for. It's still supported by Microsoft up to this day. So we're just going to go ahead and take a look at it. And then at the end, I'm going to go ahead and start up Windows XP and just compare the two operating systems and see what the difference is. Now, for some reason, they didn't put Windows Vista's code in here. It does have a little bit of Windows Vista features in here. But for some reason, they decided to put like Windows, the Windows XP's kernel in here. Which is kind of strange and it's an interesting operating system to look at because it also looks different and this is actually going to be my first time looking at the operating system and i'm not kidding i this is actually my first time looking at the operating system i've seen videos of it but like i've only watched like the first minute of it because i wanted to see it for myself so let's just go ahead and start it up the setup process was pretty straightforward but it looked really different for windows xp setup it has a bluish type theme which looked really nice to me there were also a couple of differences in the setup too. It asked me which programs to install and which drivers to download. This took a really long time, much longer than Windows XP setup. But after a long process, I managed to get the operating system installed and running. Anyways, yeah, here's Windows XP embedded. Uh, let's just go ahead and look at the themes. That, that's like my favorite part about this operating system. I like this theme though. I actually prefer this over Luna theme exclamation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. What is this? Bullet? Ah, oh, ah, oh, that ah, oh, that hurts my eyes. That's good. What about this? Okay, so I've seen I've seen this kind of background in like in stores. I've seen uh, not stores. I've seen this in like most of the cash registers and stuff. This kind of theme. There's just no background and then I see this start like this, you know, start menu and stuff. So just taking a look at the operating system, it really, I don't really notice that much of a difference. I think like you have to install certain programs to make it work properly. Overall, I the only difference I see is pretty much the theme. The theme looks so good. The bad thing is you can't get Luna. I love the theme though. You can get Windows Classic. And it's still supported up to this day. I think there's a little bit less features. Yeah, there are a little bit less features in this operating system. I know there's been, there's more to the start menu. And there's more to this bar over here. And also, this all programs. Th this startup is empty. Uh, that's just part of this. There's only like accessories and stuff. Yeah, there's only accessories. So this is like a more limited version of Windows XP. So you're basically giving up most of your features for extended support that's what it's that's what i'm thinking they only have notepad oh my gosh they only have notepad what's communications networks and these are all networks there's nothing else it's only notepad oh <laughs> they haven't changed this in so long all the sounds are the same i think this is just a more limited version of windows but it's mostly meant for like facts i think during the setup menu there you can add more stuff but like the stuff is only for adding you know atm machine programs and stuff like that or crash register programs um to keep yourself organized but otherwise i mean if you're gonna use this as a home computer i really don't recommend it i mean you can only browse the web and then um write notepad and you can i think you, yeah you can also use other programs but those are really limited because Windows XP has really bad compatibility. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And we're going to go ahead and load up uh, Windows XP and Windows POS Ready Edition thingy. And it has the same exact shutdown sound. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a startup test to see if Windows XP boots up first. Or Windows Embedded Post Ready 2009. I don't know if it's pronounced POS ready or post ready, so I'm just gonna go with, with post ready. So let's go ahead and do it three, two, one. And I'm sorry, it's not gonna be super exact, but um, yeah, that's just gonna, that's just gonna how it's gonna work. All right, so Windows XP is on the left, and Windows Post Ready 2009 is on the right. Or Windows Embedded. Ooh, it's close. It's close. It's close. It's close. Oh my gosh.
Now, yes, it I do have to put in a password, but Windows XP is already on the screen. And yes, there you go. So let me just go ahead and put in my super secret password. And uh, there you go. And uh, yep, there you go. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the operating systems. And off the bat, this looks completely different. Or not completely different, but the theme is different. The background is different. The start menu is a little bit different. Yep, it is a little bit different. Uh, there are more stuff. It everything is different. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the theme. So uh, this is, I think. Okay, let me just put this back to what it was. So Windows Embedded Post Ready 2009 uses Post Ready theme, which is so much more modern looking than Windows Luna. Windows Luna is is a little bit less modern. I could say it is less modern, but it still it still does look good. But in my opinion, I like uh, Windows Post Ready's a little bit better and the font is also a little bit different look at this look at this font and look at this font it looks a little bit different here let me just line them up for you uh so yeah this font is a little bit smaller but a little bit bolder and then those this one is a little bit thinner and a little bit larger so windows xp has a lot more backgrounds and windows embedded windows post ready oh i can't windows embedded po pos ready 2009 I'm just gonna call it post ready 2009 uh this one has only three wallpapers and i i, I don't even feel like counting but that's a lot of wallpapers and um yeah also look at the buttons also the buttons look different look at that if we like line them up there's a there's a difference and this one is a lot more squarish and this one is a lot more rounded the thing i just don't like is if i go to this background there's a windows 7 logo right here and then there's a windows xp logo right there that really does annoy me i don't i don't know why it just does i think i think the windows xp logo would have fit in a little bit better but um that's just my personal opinion it just annoys me a little bit taking a look at the start menu the start menu has a lot more than windows uh, uh, windows embedded post ready this one, this Windows Embedded. I'm going to call it Windows Embedded. This one, it, it's, it's limited. This one is not limited. It's un, not unlimited, but, you know, it has a tour. You know what to do in this operating system. Oh, my gosh. You know what to do in this operating system because it literally tells you what to do. This one, you have to know what you're doing, and I can understand that because this is mainly for cash registers and stuff. But, um, yeah, this one also has printers and fax. I don't think the Windows Explorer really changed. Guys, listen to that. Listen to this difference. Look at the sound whenever you go into folders and stuff. L this is Post Ready 2009. And look at Windows XP's. Another thing I can notice is that there is a little kind of watermark over here that I can't get rid of. This one doesn't. Maybe that's because of the product key. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. Oh, let's look at the unused window whenever the window's not being used. This one, this one gets rid of the colors, while this one is has a little bit of a color blur here. Start menu, look, it doesn't even have a picture. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bar. Oh, yep, this is where I noticed it. Let's so look at Windows Post Ready's, look, Windows, look at Windows Embedded's, and look at Windows XP's. So this one has like four options. This one has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, eight, nine, and then 13. This one has 13 options. Look at the accessories. Dude, you have so much more accessories. Look at that. That's so much more. Look at all of this. So basically, this is limited. This is, you can do whatever you want. This is amazingly I'm honestly confused. This has been released later, and this has been released lower. I am a bit confused. Why is this so much more limited than Windows XP? If I were to pick between Windows XP and Windows Post Ready, although I like this theme, I would actually go with Windows XP. It's just so... You can do so much more. Now, yes, this... Windows Post Ready has a lot more support than windows xp but i honestly if you're the kind of person that is horrible with computers and if you don't know what a virus is and stuff i think you would be good for windows post ready i don't think for me i would go for windows xp because i know what i'm doing and uh, i don't download stuff from the internet 
well well guys i think that'll just wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed uh let's see which one is more secure let's, let's go ahead and just delete system 32 because i'm never using this ever again Okay, let's just go ahead and restart them. That didn't take me too long. Let's see if either of them boot up. Okay, the this does not look normal. It's black in the background. I don't know. I did something wrong with that. <laughs> Anyways. Ugh, I'm so tired. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, howl that DLL. I knew that I knew it would do something like that. So this one didn't start up. Will this one start up? Yep, both of them. So if you want to destroy Windows XP, any version of Windows XP, delete howl that DLL inside System 32. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button down below. If you want me to do any more of this, and uh, please subscribe or get, go in the comments, tell me what I should do. And uh, I will see you next time. Trigger Z, signing out.